China is said to be the second largest contributor to United Nations peacekeeping costs from 2016 to 2018, just behind the United States, accounting for 10.2% of the total. So today we are looking at the top five ways China contributes to the United Nations. It has been 25 years since China joined the UN peacekeeping operations and it has become the top contributor of troops among the five permanent members in UN Security Council. More than 3,000 Chinese peacekeepers are now deployed in 10 missions worldwide, including South Sudan, Lebanon, and Mali. China now stands on the precipice of becoming a leader in UN peacekeeping, with President Xi Jinping pledging in September 2015 to create a standby force of 8,000 peacekeepers and a permanent peacekeeping police squad. The United Nations provides China with valuable training for its military through peacekeeping operations and with China's growing interest in Africa, China is looking to increase its contributions to the UN peacekeeping forces. Following President Xi Jinping's promise at the United Nations summit in September 2015, an initial 2 billion US dollars has been committed as a down payment towards the South-South Cooperation Assistance Fund. That's right, China has created a specific fund to help African countries develop. The funding is primarily designed to improve the livelihoods of residents of recipient countries and diversify domestic aid providers, including NGOs, which are qualified to participate or initiate assistance projects in the least developed countries. Our number three way China contributes to the UN and the world is by signing the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons Treaty. The NPT entered into force in 1970 and was extended indefinitely in 1995. The treaty is regarded as the cornerstone of the global nuclear non-proliferation system and an essential foundation for the pursuit of nuclear disarmament. Duck and cover. It was designed to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons, to further the goals of nuclear disarmament, and to promote cooperation in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy. Not all nuclear powers have signed this treaty, which puts the world at great risk. China's willingness to be a responsible nuclear power not only shows China's wise leadership, but also helps protect the world. Number two, humanitarian aid for refugees. Wait on the boat, we're coming, wait! Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said in September 2016 that China plans to provide an additional 100 million US dollars in assistance to help deal with the global refugee and migrant crisis and is also considering setting aside a 1 billion US dollars fund for the purpose. That's right, China is working with the UN to help solve the refugee crisis. Since 2015, Europe has faced a refugee crisis that has overwhelmed many countries. China has been providing aid to help ease some of these growing concerns and it has been working with other UN nations to provide food, shelter and medicine. The UN says China now plays an increasingly important role in providing public services in the war-torn areas. Along with its assistance in addressing the European refugee crisis, China helps countries in Africa dealing with humanitarian issues. The number one way China contributes to the UN is money. You probably already guessed this, but just how much money does China contribute? The country will pay 7.92% of the total UN regular budget from 2016 to 2018 making it the third largest contributor among 193 member states following the United States and Japan. In dollar terms, this amounts to over 400 million US dollars. China also pledged 100 million US dollars to the African Union standby force and 1 billion US dollars to establish the UN Peace and Development Trust Fund. China has also put aside another 1 billion US dollars for refugee and migrant crisis and another 2 billion US dollars for the South South Cooperation Assistance Fund, making China's monetary contributions to the UN well over 4.5 billion US dollars. 
It is hard to track every dollar spent by China because they are involved with many UN missions. But it's safe to say that China is the second largest contributor to the UN and will continue to work with the UN to create a safer world for all. What do you think about our top 5 list? Did you know how much China contributes to the UN? Leave a comment below and tell us what you think. China is working hard to help keep the world safe and stable. And I'm your host, Jalan, working hard to bring you interesting lists. If you have an idea for top 5, leave a comment and I might make it into a list.